Hi everyone, welcome back to this tutorial series on image processing with OpenCV and Python. So, what are we going to see in this tutorial? And we'll be seeing some drawing functions. Uh, we'll be looking to two drawing functions in this tutorial, namely cv2.line and cv2.rectangle. The cv2.line function is used to draw a line in image, line in an image, and cv2.rectangle is used to draw a rectangle in an image. So first, let us look into some of the common arguments. The first common argument is the IMG. That is nothing but the image on which we are going to draw. That is, we have to specify the image name on which we are going to draw the line or the rectangle. The next common argument is the color. The color is of two types. One is grayscale. The other thing is the normal color. So if you are going to uh, draw a shape which is in grayscale, you can just pass in a single value which specifies the color intensity uh, you can pass in a value between 0 and 245 0 means you are going to draw a black colored line or a rectangle if you pass in 245 you are going to draw a white colored uh, line or a rectangle and any value between 0 and 245 will be drawing an image drawing a line or a rectangle in a gray scheme gray scheme so next is the color so if you have to draw some colored line or rectangle you have to pass in a tuple tuple is nothing but a group of values which is enclosed within curved braces so how will you pass in the parameter the color should be in bgr format that is blue green and red suppose you are going to draw a red color image red color line or rectangle red color rectangle angle on the image you have to pass in 0 comma 0 comma 245 and the next common parameter is the thickness thickness is uh, you have to specify the thickness in pixels suppose you are going to draw a line segment and you have to specify how thick your line should be so there are two things in this thickness if you are going to draw a closed image like in rectangle or circle some shapes like that you can specify the thickness of the border or you can specify minus one to fill the image with the specified color so these are the things which are in common for the cv2.line and cv2.rectangle functions. So now let us look into cv2.line function and how will be the syntax for cv2.line function. The syntax is cv2.line with, within which we have to pass in the image, the starting coordinate, ending coordinate, color and thickness. So the start and end are new parameters and we will look into what is start and end. So start is nothing but a, a tuple value of the starting pixel coordinate x1 comma y1 and it must be an integer and this is to be underlined. We have to pass in the pixel coordinate only in integer and only integer values will be accepted. If you pass in a float or some other values it will be throwing an error. And the end is nothing but a tuple of ending pixel coordinate x2 comma y2 and it must also be an integer. So how will you specify these coordinates? We can look into that. So let us consider an image which is of 400 cross 300 dimension. So there are 400 rows and 300 columns. So the columns are numbered from 0 to 299 and the rows are numbered from 0 to 399. Suppose I am going to draw a line from line along the leading diagonal and how I have to specify the starting and ending coordinate. So it is explicit from this diagram that the starting coordinate that is the topmost co coordinate is 0 comma 0. And the start parameter is 0 comma 0 and what will be the ending parameter? From this diagram we can see that the ending uh, coordinate is 299 comma 399 so the ending coordinate will be 299 comma 399 so this is how so when you pass in this parameter to cv2.line function we will be getting a line which is something like this so now let us go into the programming part and let's see how this works in programming so then open your python ideally and open a new document and let's start coding first let us import numpy uh, library as np and let us import opencv library so let me create an image first named line let me create an image of size say let me create a black color image first so i'm going to use np.0s np.0s is nothing but we'll create a numpy array with all zero entries of the specified shape so let me create a numpy array of the size 600 cross 800 um, and 
let me specify the D type as D type is nothing but the data type, which is you which is going to be unsigned integer of type uh, eight bit. So I'm going to specify np dot u on uint eight, and this will create a black colored image. So let us view this image first with cv two dot im show. And let us do the same thing here. That is, we are going to draw a line across the leading diagonal. So let me call cv dot line and pass in the line function. Before that, let me introduce a weight key over here to see how our images. Let me pass in the line image and the starting coordinate is 0, 0, and the ending coordinate is 7. 99 comma 599 for this image and let me specify the color to be let's say white 255 and let the data be and the thickness be 10 pixels so i've drawn a line across the leading diagonal and let me show the image again And let me destroy the window. So as of now, I have drawn an image and drawn a line across the leading diagonal. And let us draw another line and look into the output. Now let us draw the line across the uh, across the other diagonal. Again, let me call cv dot line, and I am going to draw the line on the same image. And the starting coordinate in this will be the top right most coordinate that is the x coordinate will be 799 and the y coordinate will be 0 and the second ending parameter is the left bottom left most coordinate which is going to be 0 comma and the number of rows that is the last row 599 and let me specify the color again to be white and let have me have this uh, thickness again to be 10 and let us view the image so we have completed coding let me save the image save the error save the python code let me save it as save it to dot line i have saved the code and let's run the program so this is our image this is the complete black image which we have created and let me press enter so i've drawn a line across the leading diagonal and i've drawn a line across the other diagonal so this is how we draw a line in an image using cv2.line so we have seen to cv2.line function now let's look into cv2.rectangle function in the cv2.rectangle function the syntax is similar to that of cv2.line function the syntax is cv2.rectangle of image comma start comma end comma color comma thickness the only change is the start and end parameter the start parameter is again a tuple but the pixel coordinate is the top leftmost pixel coordinate of the rectangle and the ending coordinate is the bottom rightmost pixel coordinate of the rectangle and how how to specify this coordinate let us look into the same example let's take a 400 cross 300 image and let me divide the image into four coordinates and suppose i have to draw a rectangle in the third coordinate we can see that in the top leftmost pixel coordinate is 0 comma 399 by 2 but we cannot pass in a float value into the uh, starting coordinate we will be having int of 399 comma so the starting uh, coordinate will be start of 0 comma int of 399 by 2 and the ending coordinate is the right bottommost pixel and we are here we have the right bottommost pixel and this value is 
three two ninety nine by two and three ninety nine. And so we will be passing it as int of two nine nine by two comma three nine nine. And let me specify some thickness value for this. I will be having the output as like this. You can see a rectangle box in the third coordinate. So you can see that only the border is being displayed and it's not being filled. So what we have to do to fill the rectangle with some color. So for this, let me take the same image and let me draw a rectangle with filled color in the first coordinate. So for the starting leftmost coordinate for this is two nine nine by two comma zero, and the rightmost pixel will be uh, two nine nine comma three nine nine by two. And you have to fill in the rectangle with some specified color. So if you are going to fill in the rectangle with some specified color, you are going to pass thickness as minus one. So when you do this, you will be getting a rectangle like this with a filled color. That is, will be the rectangle will be filled with the specified color. So now let's look the same example with a different coordinate, different size of image in programming. So now let's look into the programming part of cv2 dot rectangle. I have already imported the numpy package and the cv2 dot cv2 open cv package. And first, let me create an image named rect using np dot once of. I am going to create a colored image of size six hundred cross eight hundred comma three. The three specifies the three color channel and the deep type to be. Again, in p dot u n t eight, and let me multiply it by two fifty five so that the image is white. So uh, now let's uh, draw the bottommost rectangle with a specified color with only the border. So I'm going to call c b two dot rectangle, and I'm going to pass in the rect image, and I pass the rect image. And now let me specify the coordinate. The coordinate that is the left topmost coordinate will be zero comma int of pi ninety nine divided by two. And the bottom rightmost coordinate will be int of the total number of columns divided by two comma the total number of rows that is pi ninety nine. Sorry, fine. I think, and let me specify the color to be, let's say, black. And let me specify the thickness to be ten pixels. So I've drawn the image, and let us uh, sorry. Oh, here, see, we do not time. And let us look into the image. And let us wait. Until the key is pressed, and let me destroy the window. I'll destroy all the windows, and now let me draw a rectangle with the specified color on the uh, first coordinate using C V two dot rectangle again. C V two dot rectangle of I am be passing the same image, but the coordinate varies now. The coordinate, the top leftmost coordinate is in of Seven ninety nine divided by two, comma zero, and the bottom rightmost coordinate is seven ninety nine, comma int of five ninety nine by two, and let me specify the color to be blue, zero comma zero, and. Since I'm going to fill the fill the rectangle, I'm going to pass in minus one. And let us look into the image. And let us wait for some time until the key is pressed. And let me destroy the window. And let me save this. And let me save it to be cv two dot rectangle. Mm, let's run this piece of code. So 
you see that a bottom or a rectangle is being drawn in the bottommost star that is the third coordinate and you can see that it's not being filled only the border is being displayed now let me press enter and you can see that now a blue color pixel blue color rectangle is being drawn in the first coordinate and it is completely being filled it is being filled because we have specified the thickness to be minus 1 and that's it for today's tutorial and if you like the tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thank you and let's meet in the next tutorial